Hey, Preds Nation, admit it. You were getting a little nervous there. I'll admit it. I was too. The Preds have taken this to the limit before concerning arbitration hearings. What am I talking about? Of course, UC Soros has been officially extended by the Preds to a four-year, $20 million contract with an AAV of $5 million a season. It was announced by Elliot Friedman early this morning, not by the team's official social media just yet, that the heir apparent to Pekka Rene, UC Soros, has been signed long term and the Preds can avoid a contentious, what would have been a contentious, arbitration hearing that always gets rough between the team and the player involved. This deal is signed just two days before UC Soros' arbitration hearing was scheduled this upcoming Wednesday, where he wouldn't have gotten the term, and I can't imagine he wouldn't have gotten the value that he ended up getting by the Preds. So, overall, in the grand scheme of things, UC takes over having Pekka's cap hit from last season and Dave Riddich, the backup, he gets UC Soros' cap hit that has just finished off from UC's three-year $1.5 million deal. This will leave the Preds with just about $12 million in cap space, plenty of room to get the remaining RFA signed, Ellie Tovenin, which I can't imagine will be much more, maybe less hopefully for the Preds' sake, but much more than $4 million a season. The four years gives the Preds time to see if they want UC to have the job long term, or if they think by the end of that four years, if Askarov is ready to take over, then they can trade UC away for parts to help out other areas of the team. The value of the contract gives UC the money he deserves now for how he performed like he did last season and, you know, decently in the playoffs. And moving forward, it incentivizes him to play just as well now on an 82-game schedule for by the time the next four years has expired for him to get his one last payday to live out his NHL career into his late 30s. We all know UC has a history of starting slow, either last year as starter for the first time or in previous seasons as Pekka's backup. UC knows coming into this upcoming season and the three that will follow it that the number one job is his. No question. So hopefully he now has his mind right, no distractions, no media asking him about a long-term deal with the team if he had gone to arbitration and had only gotten a one or two year deal. So he gets off on the right foot and he can play up to his capability on an 82 game season that he did as a 56 game season last year. I've said before in videos this off season, I cannot imagine with Riddage as a backup and what the Preds are going to be expecting out of UC Saros that he starts any fewer than 57 games. Overall, not a bad offseason for the Preds. Poyle brings in the pieces that he wanted from outside the team, and he extends key pieces moving forward from inside the locker room. And as an added bonus, if you'd like to get Ekholm and Forsberg extended before the season starts, well, that would be great too. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like it. You can find my social media by clicking on the channel name. The juice is definitely good and the juice is not going anywhere anytime soon.